folks, Sid Mnemonic here, back once again with an episode of The Tea Drinker. And today we're going to be looking at Dragonfly Tea Selection Box. Uh, I came across Dragonfly Tea uh, when I was shopping in Waitrose. My mother drinks a lot of mint flavoured tea and I couldn't find her usual brand. So I took a punt on Dragonfly's uh, mint tea and uh, she quite liked it so that kind of drawn my attention uh, I got this off the internet um, and uh, just have a look at the contents there you get this lovely little box there and uh, I post links down below so we're going to have a look at um, uh, what we've got on offer uh, I think these are all loose leaf teas pretty much Oh no, they're they're no, nope, they're pyramids. So you get one pyramid per sachet. So um, yeah. So uh, first of all, we've got Eastern Beauty Oolong, elegantly mellow with golden undertones of sun-drenched fruit, and uh, this exclusive Formosa Oolong has a complexity, richness, and golden amber colour. That places it between a green and a black tree tea. Okay, nice. So that's a that's an oolong. Next we have jade orchid green tea. Seductive and smooth, opulently scented with jade orchid petals. And that's a tea pyramid. In China, the art of delicately scenting teas goes back many hundreds of years. Here, quality green tea is scented with the fragrant petals of the Yulan or Jade Orchid tree. Okay, that sounds nice. Uh, Gen Maicha and Matcha tea. Deliciously toasty with vibrant matcha and golden roasted rice kernels. So that should be an interesting taste sensation. This deliciously savoury Japanese green tea blends the toasted nuttiness of traditional gen matcha I, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, gen maisha with the rich green umami notes of matcha So interesting, a sort of savoury flavoured tea well, That's got to be an interesting taste Next one we have is Bai Mudan White Tea Subtle, rounded and refreshing with characteristic nutty notes. This authentic white tea, also known as white peony, is made from the delicate silvery buds and most tender leaves of the Dai Dabai tea bush. So that's that looks promising too. Here we go with a more traditional brew, English breakfast. Full bodied, bright and satisfying with hints of malty sweetness. To celebrate the champion of British tea culture, we have created a breakfast blend of exceptional quality, selecting teas from some of the world's finest estates. Oh, that's good. So they got lemon and ginger infusion. This, this classic caffeine-free infusion for any time of the day perfectly balances refreshing lemongrass with a gentle spice of ginger root. Okay. Here's my favourite, Earl Grey. Classic and fragrant with the uplifting scent of finest bergamot. Fine black tea leaves are scented with bergamot, a Mediterranean citrus whose essential oils Define the classic Earl Grey fragrance and taste. So next one is Jasmine Pearls Green Tea. Soft and delicate, scented with summer finest jasmine blossoms. Scented with fresh jasmine flowers and delicately hand rolled into pearls, this exquisite green tea is made using old artisan techniques. Mm. Garden Mint and Verbena Infusion 
aromatic, freshly ref refreshing and sweetly herbal with a gentle citrus finish. A refreshing caffeine free infusion of naturally cooling peppermint rounded with a hint of softly aromatic lemon verbena. As we have dragon well green tea clear and fresh with intriguing hints of fruit and honeyed chestnut this brightly delicate green tea is one of the great teas of china renowned for its distinguishing taste and beautifully folded leaves so um that's uh, the selection i might not do it in the order that i read them out um but we'll just have to see i'm going to set up um i'm going to do them five at a time because uh, i can't really drink that much tea and i'll sort of um sort of try and match up the sort of different teas together so maybe the english breakfast and the earl grey will definitely go in one group um and the uh, more sort of herbal infusion blends will go together as well so um, I'm going to get my cups and saucers out and start my kettle for the first five. So we've got uh, English breakfast, Earl Grey, Eastern Beauty Oolong and the two infusions, the garden, garden mint and verbena and the lemongrass and ginger. Um, I've just had them brewing for a little while and the two sort of, uh, sort of more traditional black teas the English breakfast and the Earl Grey are a sort of brownish um, mahogany colour. Um, the English breakfast is slightly more of a sort of reddish tint uh, than the Earl Grey. The Earl Grey is more sort of chocolatey, sort of malty. Now the oolong is quite dark as well. It does have a slight hint of sort of mahogany as well. It's slightly lighter in colour than the English breakfast uh, and the two uh, infusions you have the garden mint and verbena and as usual as with a lot of mint infusions it is rather dark in colour it's brown but with a hint of green just sort of on the edges and it's a lovely smell coming up as well and the lemongrass and ginger is a sort of dark yellow bordering on orange colour. Um, so yes, I'm going to set up my camera now for the taste test. And we'll see how these teas from the variety, um, what they taste like. And then we'll reset up and try the other five. Okay, so we're going to start the taste test with the English breakfast nice strong malty scent sort of almost spicy quality to it a slight chocolatiness as well or quite a strong taste but smooth doesn't really has a bit of a stringency but doesn't really dry the mouth out it's strong it's smooth definitely a cup of tea that will get you up in the morning um, definitely worth trying this one it, it's a very strong brew and it's chocolatey malty um, it's a wonderful flavor very good cup of tea Okay, now we have the Earl Grey, my favourite variety of tea. So let's see how it, it um, lives up to other varieties. Strong citrus scent. I can smell the bergamot. Hopefully this is not going to be like some previous Earl Greys that have come across as very flowery. So that's quite floral um, the tea is quite strong the um, 
The bergamot has a sweetness to it. It's it, like I say, it's quite floral. It's not overly floral. Um, again, slightly astringent as it's black tea. Has a sort of you know drying mouth feel. It's quite smooth. Um, Not the best Earl Grey I've had, but it is quite high up on the list. Good. Uh, not too perfumey, quite strong. Nice balance between the tea and the bergamot. Okay. Now we're going to try the Eastern Beauty Oolang. Uh, so it says it's got undertones of sun-drenched fruit, so hopefully there'll be a sort of sweet fruitiness to this. Hmm. There's a slight spiciness to this, actually. Spicy scent. Mm, not really fruity, more sort of floral spiciness. Let's give it a taste. Mm. Again, there's a sort of almost sort of chocolatey taste, like a, a sort of dark, more more a sort of dark chocolatey. There is a fruitiness, but it's hard to. There's a sort of fruity floralness, not too strong. Hmm. There is, there is quite, there's, there's some fruitiness and sort of malty chocolateness as well. There is, there is an edge of the fruitiness. It's, it's, it's very, very subtle, but there is a sort of very fruitiness there. Um... But but the, the the sort of more the black tea flavor the oolong tea rather the oolong tea flavor is more dominant more present than 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 the fruit fruitiness but there is something fruity there there's something definitely sort of floral and fruity there and there's a slight spiciness as well which I do like okay uh, so we're going to on to the uh, infusions. We're going to start with the Garden Mint and Verbena. Very, very minty scent almost already. Lovely minty scent. I'm Now the trouble I've had with a lot of mint infusions is they do tend to be quite oily, a little bit soapy on the taste. Um, so I'm going to try this. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, there's a lovely sweetness to it. It's not oily. It's perfectly round, sound cup of mint tea. There's a bit of strength to it as well. Mm. There's a slight citrusy note from the verbena as well. Mm. That is a lovely taste. That would go very well, I think, with like a, a some kind of lamb dish. I, I think it's a lovely, smooth uh, mint tea infusion. Uh, it's not oily. It's nice and strong and smooth. It doesn't leave like a, a harsh residue on your mouth like a lot of mint infusions do. That is a lovely, lovely mint tea. Okay. So the last one of this batch um, is a lemongrass and ginger infusion. So I'm hoping that this is going to be quite flavoursome too. Lovely, immediately get a hit of lemongrass in the, in the scent, the aroma. Can't really... The ginger's there, but it's very, very subtle. 
I'm, I'm definitely getting the, the, the sort of citrusiness of the lemongrass. Mm. I'm getting the ginger and there's a sweetness to it as well. Ah, I'm getting... I always talk when I hear I I, I taste ginger infusions so that you get this little sting in the back of your throat and I'm definitely getting that now. Yep, there's a little sting. I think there may be some licorice in that because I'm definitely tasting a sweetness of um, licorice. It may just be the the lemongrass, which is quite a strong flavour and the the ginger is more subtle than the lemongrass but it is there it does sting your throat when you when you drink it um there's a good after dinner sort of um digestive tea so both the lemongrass and ginger and the garden mint and verbena are both uh caffeine free so they'd, they'd be perfect for sort of after dinner sort of um digestive, uh, sort of relaxing in an afternoon sort of way. And the other three teas I tasted, English breakfast, uh, like I said, that's definitely a breakfast tea. Earl Grey afternoon tea. The Oolong would be a, 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 a good afternoon tea as well. Um, so definitely recommend the garden mint and the English breakfast from this particular set as my particular favorites uh, the Earl Grey like I said not the best Earl Grey but it's it's quite a good uh, Earl Grey all all in all this particular section uh, selection is um, it's very good so we are back again with the second part of our dragonfly tea uh variety box selection box uh tea tasting and we're going to be looking at the green tea and uh white tea blends but they're mostly green tea blends we've got one white tea blend uh they're all very similarly colored this um uh sort of as uh, orangey yellow uh, for the jasmine and the jade, the jade slightly darker in colour. Um, the gin matcha tea is sort of more greenish in colour. Um, and the dragon well tea is a sort of light yellow. And the bai mudan white tea, which is the only white tea, is a sort of darkish orange in colour. There's quite a, a floral aroma coming from these teas. Um, not particularly strong, but it'll probably be stronger when we get into the taste test itself. So uh, let's set up for the taste test. Always my favorite part of these reviews. Okay, we're going to kick off this second half with jasmine pearls green tea that's where the tea leaves are rolled into tiny little balls or pearls and when the uh, tea uh, the water is added to the tea it kind of expands and the flavor is released absolutely beautiful jasmine floral scent wonderful aroma coming through very very strong um, jasmine scent good floral aroma wonderful let's give it a taste all smooth floral almost chewy I, I think it's not too floral it's not overwhelming a lovely refreshing jasmine tea mm. it's not too strong or astringent it's smooth it goes all the way down 
it doesn't dry the mouth out this is a good example of jasmine tea I really like this next we have the jade orchid green tea there's a very sort of sweet fruity aroma from this more than floral it's got it's uh it's scented with jade orchid petals but it's more sort of it's more sort of fruity than than i'd say floral very subtle taste though not as 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 fruity or floral as i'd imagine it would taste it just tastes very much like green tea i can't taste the orchid in it at all but it's still quite smooth it's a lovely sipping cup of tea although if it if it does uh what it says on the packet you know i'd expected it to be a bit more sort of floral um but but then again it's not overwhelmingly sort of blossomy so yes as a, as a green tea it's a good green tea but like i said for something that's supposed to be uh sort of floral flavored it, it it's it leaves a little to be desired i think okay so here we have the Jemaicha, uh, or I don't know how to pronounce it, G-E-N-M-A-I-C-H-A, -E -A -A, and matcha green tea. Oh, this does smell very toasted rice, very much of toasted rice, sort of very sort of breakfasty cereal type. It's a very unusual scent. It's almost hay-like. It's sort of very sort of autumn in a barn, um, toasty, breakfasty um, kind of aroma of it. It's almost almost sort of like a dry meadow, almost. Mm. What an extraordinary taste. Tastes like a slightly burned rice cake, but you can taste the toasted rice. It, it's it's an extraordinary brew. I've never had anything like this. Mm. It does what it says. It's a it's a very sort of toasted rice taste. I I can't get over that. You can't really taste the green tea it, it, it the, the, the toastiness there's a slight maltiness as well mm. that's extraordinary reminds me of school slightly of school rice puddings actually mm. i've never tasted anything like that, that that's really nice Tastes like it's sort of like um, there used to be um, a breakfast cereal called Ricicles, and that's what it reminds me of. I never thought that would make such a good combination. It's absolutely lovely. Okay. Uh, so the last of the green teas. Uh, this is uh, Dragon Well green tea. I've had Dragon Well varieties before, so uh, fruit and honey chestnut, apparently. So, oh, it is quite fruity actually. Definitely a sort of almost citrusy type smell with it. There is a sort of edge of citrusy. There's a citrusy sort of almost like summer berry fruit as well. Mm. 
not really getting the sort of ch chestnut um, well now that I smell it there is kind of an aroma of fresh chestnut to this mm. there is there is a hint of nuttiness to it but it does have a, a sort of a soup song of fruitiness to it too again very smooth not astringent in the mouth um, not bitter and uh, here we have the Bai Mudan white tea the new white tea of this particular grouping characteristic uh, nutty notes apparently not really too much of an aroma it's slightly fruity yes I can definitely taste sort of almost fresh nuts not sort of the, the dried nuts you get in a shop but like nuts that have come fresh off a tree mm. there's definitely a nuttiness to that Again, quite smooth. Almost, almost sort of, um, it's very sort of springy. Mm. There's almost a savouriness to it as well. Hmm, fascinating. So, dragonfly uh, tea, uh, tea house collection. Um, overall very good um, the uh, the uh, green tea mint and verbena and the gen matcha green tea I have to say are quite favorites of mine uh, the gen matcha um, and matcha green tea I've honestly I have not tasted anything like it it's absolutely lovely um, not really any much disappointment with this. Um, generally, a good uh, variety of teas, uh, lots of nice aromas and flavours. Um, but I'm just one person. If you want to try dragonfly tea for yourself, I posted some links down below. They're also on social media. Um, so you. Just go and try yourself. Um, okay, uh, that's about it. That wraps it up for another episode of The Tea Drinker. I've been Sid Mnemonic, and I hope to see you again in the next video.